Let's move on to main topic number two, shall we? And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Taylor Kieran, who writes, Hey, John, I just saw some new pictures from the Thor Love and Thunder, and it looks like we get our first look at Christian Bale as Gore the God Butcher. Not so much in costume or anything, but that, uh, but it looks like he shaved his head. Do you think the shaved head indicated that he'll most likely be practical instead of CGI? I mean, why shave his head if we're not going to see his actual head, right? What do you think? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And of course, one of the big Marvel movies that a lot of us have been very excited about is, of course, Thor Love and Thunder. After what Taika Waititi did with Thor Ragnarok, which was, I thought, remarkable. I thought, I thought in, in, intensely entertaining movie. Then, of course, seeing what he did in Jojo Rabbit and now coming back with this. Then we all got really excited when we heard that Christian Bale was coming in. Then we got even more excited to find out Christian Bale was indeed playing Gore the Godslayer. Well, now we do get our first kind of peek at what's going on here. Now, let me bring this up here just for a second. This is something that we were getting from them. So if you go down in this article here, there are these pictures taken from the set of uh, Thor Love and Thunder, and we see Christian Bale sporting the bald head. Now, if you know Gore the God Slayer, he doesn't have a full bushy head of hair, so there's that. It, the, the interesting question is, I mean, who cares about a picture of a guy walking around on a set? But it does raise an interesting question, Rob, that if, you know, if it was going to be all CGI, if it was all going to be motion capture, the way Josh Brolin did motion capture for Thanos, and that's how we were going to get Gore the God Slayer, why would they need Christian Bale to shave his head? So it's an understandable question to ask. Are they just going to go more practical? Are, is he going to look more human-like than he does in the comics? Because in the comics, he's he looks very alien. He looks very, very alien in the comics. I would suggest this. Having worked in the field of CGI for a few years, it makes the job a lot easier for post-production, even if they're going to motion capture it. If his head's supposed to look a certain way, shaving Christian Bale's head goes a long way. Now, why not just a skull cap? Why not something like that? I don't know. The bottom line here for me is I don't think we're going to see Christian Bale as gore. I think we're going to see a more comic, accurate-looking gore, but you never know. Because, yeah, while it does make the CGI artist's job easier if he just shaves his head, there are a lot of other options they could have had. Then again, Christian Bale is one of these actors who throws himself into these roles, right? He physically, he'll be he'll put on 150 pounds to be Cheney. He'll lose 150 pounds uh, for, uh, what was the one he did uh, where he lost uh, uh, all the weight? Where he just had like a one can of tuna, one apple. The, a day. the mechanic. The mechanic. He'll he'll do that. He'll he'll put himself through whatever physical rigors he needs to. So maybe he feels like I don't, I, I just wore a character shove his head. Personally, I don't think we're gonna see Christian Bale as Christian Bale. But I don't know, Rob. You see these pictures on set. He shaved his head for this. Do you think that means? Does that imply that we're just gonna see Christian Bale, or do you still think they're gonna do more? of the motion capture, kind of like what they did with Josh Brolin and Thanos. How do you think they're going to approach this? Oh, I, I definitely think that they're probably going to do some kind of motion capture with him, just like Thanos, because, you know, shaving his head is just makes that easier. And I think that that's probably what he did. He probably said, look, I'll shave my head. I don't need to wear a bald cap or I don't, however they're going to do the motion capture. I mean, look, the Thanos, I think, still holds up as the greatest motion capture character ever done so far. You might be able to make an argument that the apes from Planet of the Apes, the the Andy Circus apes, are up there definitely. But doing a, a like Thanos, whose face was not covered by fur, uh, it's amazing that they were able to get the kind of emotion and likeness out of that character. I can only see them wanting to expand that ability because it allows them to diversify how many different kinds of motion capture characters they can they can make in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So why not? You know, um, oh, and and by the way, that it's just it's it's not it's not the mechanic. That's Jason Statham. Jason Statham is the mechanic. Uh, it's the machinist. It's the machinist. The machinist. Sorry. So, Sorry. Um, so yeah, well, I, I think you're right. By the way, I I think you're right. The way they're going to go about this, although it is interesting and it's going to make me wonder to keep my eyes open on this uh, to see where they go with it. So uh, we'll find out. Questions for you guys. 
You're seeing the first pictures of Christian Bale, at least on set, walking around. He's going to be gore. Do you think it's going to be a CGI like Josh Brolin? Do you think maybe the shaved head implies he's going to go, they're going to go less effects? I don't think so. But what do you guys think? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.